hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's Eki. if it's the first time seeing me you're welcome if you're a subscriber thank you so much for always coming back yeah today is day three of our series beginners makeup tutorial series yeah if you've not seen our previous videos day one and two we're leaving the link down in the description box so you can follow follow up so you know what we've been doing all right so today's video is basic makeup tools for beginners so if you are loving this look already stay tuned because we are gonna use those tools to achieve this stay tuned while we go right into this video okay guys so this is where i stack my brushes whenever i want to do my makeup okay so as a beginner i don't feel you necessarily need all of these brushes from this i'm going to show you the basic brushes that you need to get your makeup done first i'll be starting off with my brows so you need a spoolie like this or if you have a spoolie that came with a brow product or pencil that will be fine but you need a spoolie to start with so you can brush up your brows i'm going to be concentrating just on the brushes so that you need to get your makeup done i'm outlining my brows following my natural brow line I'm doing the same thing at the top of my brows also I'm bringing that down to meet with the line I drew previously so I brush up my brows to see the space where I need to fill in next tool you need or brush is the angle brush this is from Yanga Beauty in flat veg this is my go-to angle brush when it comes to highlighting my brows so you need a angle brush like this to highlight underneath and the top of your brows the reason for your highlighting underneath your brows is to keep the edges of your brows clean and make to blend in your concealer you can use your finger to blend in the concealer into your skin you can use a blending brush like this to blend your makeup should come out looking nice so as a beginner two blending brushes for me is enough for you to blend your transition colors and then you need one of this flat brush here is a little bit fluffy that you can use to pack your shimmer color to your eyelid so three of those brushes is enough for you to get your eyeshadow done with this blending brush is uh, fluffy and it's a little bit angled where it can get into your crease properly so i'm going into the pure dust from this pack so i'm going into that right on my crease so guys today is day three for our beginners makeup tutorial so if you've not seen our previous video on beginner status kit an eyebrow tutorial i'll be leaving the link in my description box i'm going into the bronze surface to deepen my crease i'm blending that towards the outer corner of my eyes okay, with the second blending brush i'll be blending out the edges of my transition color but before i do that i'm going to dip it into the purple dust i used earlier i don't like using a clean brush straight if not you are going to move your products the two blending brushes are our kabuki brushes they don't have numbers you can just get any blending brush at all that will get the job done with my brush from city color in o2 the flat pack on brush using these two shades black to black and coffee hash for my lid i'm blending that slowly towards the inner corner of my lid you can as well use your finger to pack on this this lid color so if you don't have a brush like this use your fingers it will still get the job done so i'm going back into that blending brush to blend the edges of my lid color and make it look well blended so this is the reason why you need blending brush so guys if you have something like this in your makeup brush set then don't throw it away i'm going to use this to apply eyeshadow on my tear dot 
a shimmer shade to open up my eyes another tool you need is another angle brush like this for some gel liner they come with an angle brush that you can use in applying but i really do not you know fancy that so that's why i don't use it so if you have something like this you can use in applying in your gel liner or if you have something like this this is a liquid gel liner it has an applicator that will be fine it will just save your day so i'll be lining with the liquid liner from just gold so i'll be applying my falsies my go-to tool for applying falsies is my fingers so you can use your tweezer to apply your falsies use a tweezer like this to apply your falsies but finger works best for me whatever works for you just use it so for the skin you need these blending tools for your foundation this is a flat top brush from city color in f05 and this is my beauty sponge from inno beauty i'll be showing you how i use two of these tools to apply my foundation tapping that foundation into my skin and then i'll go in using my sponge sorry i'll go in using my brush to blend that into my skin do not swipe so you will not move your product so on this side i'll be using my damp beauty sponge to blend in my foundation you don't want to use force to heat like heat the product into your skin to use a very light hand with no pressure see this other side i blended out using the brush and this side in the beauty sponge to blend my contour and highlights i'll be using this brush here this is one of the kabuki brush i'm going to be using this pointy tip brush to blend underneath my eyes first i'm going to be buffing out my contour areas so i'll be blending this this side with the beauty sponge so this is just to show you that beauty sponge is multi-purpose so i'm blending out my concealer underneath my eyes <clears throat> the reason why i love this blending brush is because it can get to the inner corner of your eye so i'm turning over to this side to blend in my highlight and the reason why i love beauty sponge is because it does not soak up your product okay guys i showed you the wrong brush for contouring that's because i love using this brush to just buff in my contour especially when i'm doing a liquid contour but this brush this is from city color in f04 this is contour brush so i'm going to be using this one to set my contour so you see exactly how it comes out so basically the two main brushes i use for setting my contour or doing a dry contour is these two brushes is either i use this one or i use this and the reason why i love using this one almost all the time is because it's uh, a little bit large and it's fluffy and i love the way the shape is i feel it just you know go in quickly for me instead of using this smaller one but i'm going to use this one today to set my contour and just show you how it works so to set my nose contour i'll be using this small brush from it's still from city color it's of my nose that i contoured so i'm setting with my beauty sponge and then i'll be setting using the brush so to set the whole of my face i'll be using this powder brush this is how fluffy it is i'll be using this from city color in f02 to set all over my face so guys i'll be using this brush if you have something like this 
I'll be using this to smudge underneath my eyes. I'm using that to smudge underneath my lower lash line. So you can also use this angle brush as your blush brush. So I'm just gonna tap that right on my cheekbone. You can use this fan brush to apply your highlights or I love to go into a small fluffy blending brush like this for my highlights as well. So if you have something like this, trust me, it will go. So guys, that is it for basic tools that you can use in achieving flawless makeup like this one here. Alright, so if you love this video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here. It's free and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, stay blessed and stay beautiful till I come your way next time. Bye guys.